Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, in this video, we will look at the a new chapter, which is classical equations and boundary value problems solved by method of separable variables. Okay, we will be using method of separable variables. Okay, so let's look at the applications of initial boundary value problems that we will deal in this chapter. The first one would be the heat equation, which is one dimension. Okay, u t of x t is equal to k u s x of x t, or similar, uh, the same as. Del, uh, del u over del t equal to k del squared u over del x squared, where k must be greater than 0. Okay, it should be positive. Okay. Next is the wave equation in one dimension. We have this formula. Okay, u t t x t of x t equal to alpha squared u s x of x t, which is the same as del squared u over del t squared equal to alpha squared del squared u over del s squared. Okay. The last one is Laplace equation, which is in two dimensions. Okay. We have u s x of s y plus u y y of s y equal to zero. Or del squared u over del s squared plus del squared u over del y squared equal to zero. Both are the same. Okay. We will look at these three equations. Okay, in this chapter, for heat equation, it will, there will be two cases, case A, case A and case B. Okay. The same goes for Laplace equation. We have case case A and case B. Okay. So one dimension here refers to the fact that x denotes a special variable, whereas t represents the Time. Okay, but here two dimensions means here for two dimensions means that x and y are both special variables. Okay, to solve these partial differential equations, all are PDE. Okay, problems a method called separation of variables is used. Okay, so the method of separable variables here said that suppose that the given PDE, okay, the partial differential equations contains n independent variables let's say s1 until sn and one dependent variable which is u okay uh, why do we call x1 is the independent and u is the dependent because we will be written equation such as this okay that means the same as the traditional not traditional but the normal functions that we always write let's say y equal to fx okay that means y here is the Dependent. Why? The reason be it, uh, for it because the value of y depends on the changes in x. That's why x here is what we call as independent. Okay. The same goes here. U of x1 until sn. That means u depends on the value of x. Here. The value of x here. Which is we will have x1, x capital letter x x of s1, s2 of s2, s3 of s3 until sn of xn, okay? Whereas i here is a function of xi only for i from 1 until n. That means positive, okay? No, no negative of n, okay? When we substitute equation 4 here in given PDEs, it doesn't matter whether the, it is uh, uh, the heat equation, the Laplace equation or the wave equation, okay? We get um, n ODE one in each of the unknown function, okay? Which are then we solve for SI by using methods discussed earlier, okay? Which I will be reviewing after this. And finally, the general equation is obtained by substituting SI from i to n in this equation form. Okay, let's do a bit of review before we go further deep in this chapter. The first one is on first order linear differential equation. Okay, let's say, please consider a y prime plus b y equal to zero, which means it can also be written as such. Okay, y prime equal to negative b over a y. Or 
can also be written as y prime equal to k y where k is a constant. Okay, negative b over a here are constants. Okay, that's why we can represent negative of k is equal to negative b over a because constant. Okay, it's just outright constant. Okay, from the observation here. Okay, let's observe together here. Okay, y prime equal to k y. Okay. It is actually the derivative of a constant multiple of itself. Okay, that means it is actually can be described using exponential function. The reason behind it because let's say we substitute y equal to exponent mx. Okay, remember how to differentiate exponent? We will have y prime equal to m exponent mx because we differentiate the power of the exponent, bring it to the front. Multiply with the exponent itself. Okay. And it goes the same here. Y prime equal to K times Y. That means constant times Y. And here, Y prime equal to M. Constant times Y. Okay. Which is the function here. Y. Okay. Let me rewrite this first. Oh, sorry. I should change it to pen. Okay. Here is actually Y prime equal to M. Y. As you can see here. So, it's the same. Representation, okay? Okay, here. So, we substitute both y and y prime into a y, a y prime plus b y equal to 0. We have a m exponent m x plus b exponent m x equal to 0, which later can be factorized into this, okay, this term. And for sure, exponent power of m x does not equal to 0, okay? Therefore, uh, a m plus b is equal to 0. This one cannot be equal to 0 because exponent itself cannot equal to 0. Okay. So right now, uh, therefore we will let a m plus b equal to 0. Which means m is equal to negative b over a. Okay. And from here we will have the solution of y is equal to c1 exponent negative b over a x. Okay. I hope it's clear. How we get it as this y, okay? Because here, see, y equal to exponent mx, we just substitute back m is equal to negative b over a. But we need to add c1 at the front, okay? Because it's uh, a constant that might arise, okay? Next, let's do a bit of a review on second order linear homogeneous differential equations with constant coefficients, okay? So, the characteristic equation uh, corresponding to the differential equation DE would be this one. Y double prime plus A1, Y prime plus A not Y to 0, which we will always rewrite it as M squared plus A1M plus A not equal to 0. Okay. Which we obtain by re 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 sorry, replacing Y double prime, Y prime and Y is equal to M squared, M and also M not m power of 0, sorry, not m not m power of 0 equal to 1 respectively. Okay, so the equation number 3 here, okay, this one is called the, this one is called the characteristic equation of equation 2. Okay, and this char characteristic equation can be factored into factorized, okay, factored into this term m minus m1 times m minus m2 equal to 0. And from here, the general the general solution will be in three cases. Okay, the first one is m1 and m2 are both real and distinct. Okay, real and distinct. That means you have real uh, numbers. Okay, and different. Distinct means different value. Okay, so here two linearly independent solutions are exponent power of m1x and exponent power of m2x and the gen general solution is as such, okay? y equal to c1 exponent m1x plus c2 exponent m2x. Okay, in the special case, m2 might be equal to negative m1, okay? And here, the solution for this equation can also be written as this one. y equal to k1 cos, cos hyperbolic m1x plus k2 sine hyperbolic m2x. Okay, this is what we will be using later on for Laplace equation. Okay, 
So next, case 2. M1 is equal to A plus IB. So actually standard for me, I will always rewrite it as A plus BI actually. Okay. Okay. Where this one is a complex number. Okay. Since A1 and A0, uh, what we assume should be the number, the roots of the above characteristic equation must appear in conjugate pairs. By right, you should get it as M equal to A plus minus BI. Okay, BI, where, sorry, where M1 equal to A plus BI. And then M2 is equal to A minus BI. Okay. So here, two linearly dependent solutions are as such. Okay. Y equal to D1 exponent A plus IBX plus D2 exponent A minus IBX. Okay. Based on this thing. Okay. But it is algebraic, algebraically equivalent to this. Okay. Y equal to exponent AX, C1 cos BX times C2 sin BX. Okay. So, this one, we'll be using this one too. Later on. Okay. The next one is the third case, which is case 3. M1 is equal to M2, where both roots are equal. Same value. It doesn't matter positive or negative. Okay. So, two linearly independent solutions are as such. Okay. Exponent M1X and X exponent M1X. Therefore, the general solution is given as Y equal to C1 exponent M1X plus C2X exponent M1X. We won't be using the third case in the final chapter. In our final chapter. Okay, that's it for the review. See you later. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.